I begin my robin by applying clean water to make my paper wet. I do this in the shape of the robin. This technique is sometimes referred to as priming. I then start to lay down the colour. This technique is called wet on wet. Wet on wet means that wet paint is applied to wet paper or added to a wash of fresh wet paint. Wet on wet painting results in beautiful fluid effects which watercolours are well known for. The basic rule of water paint is that the paint will follow the water, so make sure your shape's right. I use a mix of colours and blend them in to give the basic shape and colour of the robin. A wet and dry technique simply means that you're applying wet paint onto dry paper or wet paint onto an area of dry paint. A wet on dry painting technique tends to give you more control over your brush strokes and the applied paint. If you load your brush with wet paint and paint on dry paper, you get a shape that shows hard edges but with flow and liquid paint in the middle. When working wet on dry, watercolour doesn't flow beyond the dry edges of the form you painted, unless you push the paint around with more paint or water. This gives you full control over the shapes you paint and is best for those detailed parts of your picture. Adding wet paint into another wet paint is known as charging, and charging in this way causes the paint to blend in a very random fashion. Charging injects a new colour into an already wet wash, it can give you more depth to a colour. Pulling out is another technique, it lets you create a gradient of colour. You paint a shape, clean and blot your brush and then pull the paint pigments in a given direction. You get a progressive change in colour from dark to light. Once your paint is dry, by using the techniques we've already shown, you can add more watercolour effects and more depth to your picture. Here I just load my brush with paint and start splashing. This is just a given effect that I wanted to use on this picture. some of the spots just to add different effects. Using the wet on dry technique, I add the details to the face. Make sure your paint is dry at this point, otherwise the paint will just bleed into the other colours. Again, I'm just playing with the paint to add different effects. To add a background colour, I used graduated blending wet on dry. I start with a very wet brush and then blend the colour out. I use the wet brush just to pull the paint to blend it out. Unlike wet on wet technique, this gives you the control to move around the shape of your, your picture and the details that are already on there. Once your painting is totally dry, you can use the felt tip to add a coat or any other details you wanted to add.
I used the silver sharpie just to add in a little highlight in the beak and the eye. And we're done.